Hello, everybody. Welcome to Ohio Talk. I am your host, Aaron May. Today, I'm going to be talking about something a little bit different. This is Ohio-based. I am talking about the future of Heritage Bank Center, a.k.a. U.S. Bank Arena, a.k.a. Riverfront Coliseum in Cincinnati, Ohio, home of the Cincinnati Cyclones. Before I get started, I ask you to like and subscribe to the video if you enjoy this. I'm going to be doing a bit of everything. Hopefully, I'm uploading a bit more frequently here soon. I'm recording a little bit different right now. I'm recording via Zoom, seeing if that works a little bit better for me because I had a little bit of issues last time. But yeah, without getting too far into it. So, Heritage Bank Center, I'm going to be blunt, is a dump. I was in it last year, 2019. It was a dump. I was in it about five years beforehand for a Cyclones game. It was a dump. It hasn't really been updated, do I know, since the 90s. I'm going to be kind of talking about and reading the article along with you guys here. It's not good. It's an old arena. Um, I think Cincinnati would have a chance on getting an NBA team if they had a newer arena. And we honestly just need to show the world that Cincinnati is the place for entertainment. And that with the new arena, we can do that. Now, right off the bat, you can see a potential for the new arena. It, here's the problem. 40-year-old uh, Heritage Bank Center. It no longer attracts top events to go to Columbus, Louisville, Cleveland. Here's the reasons. Lots of taxes, all that fun. Right through here, it gives you what, what the city and what Hamilton County would get back on their investment and saying that would help out economically and that they'd be able to attract bigger events. Now, the estimated cost is $350 million. Um, it says that it would require the demolition of Heritage Bank Center and pretty much rebuild right on top of where Heritage Bank Center is right now. It'll include new club uh, deck, suites, upper bowl seating, gathering spaces on club and upper deck levels, rooftop terrace on the south side of the building overlooking the river, which sounds absolutely beautiful. Retractable floor space and lower bowl to create a large uh, contiguous floor of approximately 50,000 square feet. Space currently unavailable for top conventions, which is true. The floor is extremely small. Right through here, it talks about how they would fund this. It says that it'd be on the hands of a public entity. Public dollars would be used to finance the project. Um, it also looks like it'll be on sales tax that was used for Union Terminal. You can see right here, this is kind of one of the pictures of US Bank Arena. I will open up a tab and show you the pictures. Right here, crunches the money, what it would take. Um, and the amount of tax it would produce, the income that produces, um, pretty much showing the pros and cons here of each thing. It shows that they will be paying more, they will be paying taxes. This new arena is extremely expensive to build. That looks like the one major downfall. It talks about different experiences that this company has made and the impacts it has made, specifically in Kansas City. Talking about how it's a smart investment. Here's a video. I'm not going to play it just because it could be some copyright issues. Here's a nice slideshow that they've created at the bottom. Here's a view that they saw on the top. This is a view from across the river. Here's Great American Ballpark. And that's where the new Heritage Bank Center would sit. Here's another view. Here's the terrace they were talking about. Here's another view from down below. Shows or there be like electronic boards and whatnot going around, glass, modern architecture, more trees. There's just currently concrete all around there right now. Here's another angle of it, very modernized. Another view from the river. I love the way it looks personally. I know some people like the old Coliseum style. I love this new style. 
No look from the back. This will be from the interstate as you're driving by. I believe 71, that is. Here's the ballpark right here. Be at low section when you're walking around to go upstairs from down below from the parking deck to go up to Great American Ballpark. Here's an inside view. Very modern, very cool, very wide open. Good areas for large crowds and whatnot. If the roof was off, this is what it would look like. You can see where basketball could be played. You can see the tunnel. You can see a new scoreboard. Tall upper bowls. Here's another view. And then this is what the inside view would look like. Very modernized. So, I did read. Don't know if it says it on this page. And I don't remember the source. But I read that this arena... For like a hockey game, it would have seats for 18,500 people, which uh, to put into perspective is the same exact size nationwide arena in Columbus holds for Columbus Blue Jackets games. So it is a very large modern arena. It would be huge for the city of Cincinnati, I believe. Let's see if I can get another uh, thing pulled up. Look some of the images from Heritage Bank. Here's the inside of it now. Older video board. Seats that aren't that made. There's not really an upper bowl. I mean, there just isn't. The roof is obviously extremely old. Here's another view. See outside this recently painted, so it looks a little bit better, but it's still extremely old and outdated. Um, the concourse is just very plain. There's nothing on just a few flags. This is what it looks like down the floor for basketball. You can see where the ho hockey rink is. It's just old, very outdated. Um, a couple of times I've been there, I was not necessarily impressed. I've looked at the capacity that it is right now. Don't mind my spelling. Okay, so this would be about a thousand more people put into the new arena. It has not been updated since 1997. So it is old. It's, in my opinion, it is time for the arena to go. It's starting to become an eyesore. I think it's starting to look old. It's starting to look run down. It's not a good place to watch an event anymore or to be in. It's old. The concessions are old. The, the whole arena is just old. It's outdated. It was neglected. Um, if it had been more recently renovated, I think there'd be potential to leave the skeleton of it and just redo the inside. But I, I think it's too far gone at this point. So, guys, let me know how you think or what you think on this arena. Should the city of Cincinnati build this new arena? Would it be worthwhile? Now, obviously not right now with COVID-19, but once COVID-19 slows, do you think Cincinnati should build this new arena? See if they can attract an NBA team. It would probably bring more fans for Cyclones games. It would bring bigger events. It could bring political conventions. I think it'd be great for the city. I think it, in the long run, would make more money than what the Curtin Heritage Bank Center would bring. Just let me know your thoughts on that. Have you ever been to Heritage Bank Center, U.S. Bank Arena? Let me know. How was your experience? And guys, I want to conclude this video by saying I will be uploading two videos here in the next three to five days. Both will be unboxing slash unbagging videos. And I hope you guys will be here for that. I'm very excited about it. And... I have a Patreon if you want to help support my channel. That will be linked down below. All my um, social media is down below. And whatnot. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe. I'm going to be mixing it up a little bit on the channel by doing unboxings, unbagging, sports, Ohio stuff like this, national stuff, and whatnot. So I hope you will be there to join me here soon. 
And guys, my name is Aaron May, and I'll see you on the next one. See ya.